Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the EZBNB Q9. This is an AM, FM, NOAA Weather Band emergency radio. You can get these on Amazon for a of $32.99, and it comes in a simple black box. Cool design. Let's check it out. So on the box, nothing special. Little sticker for keeping it sealed. Let's open it up. See what we get inside. Okay, I'm seeing a charging cable. The radio in plastic, which is nice to see. Pull that out. Looks like we got a manual. Always good to have one of those, right? And an empty box. We'll just toss aside. So let's go ahead and zoom this on down here, and we'll go over some of the contents. First thing. This is a micro USB charging cable. I'm sure you've seen these before. If you haven't, it comes with one used to charge the radio and, of course, to charge devices with the radio. Pretty cool setup. Next, we have the user manual Q9. It's got a little diagram in the front there. Let's go ahead and just open this accordion style manual up. Important warning. It's kind of small print. I don't know if you guys can read that. Let's kind of move it along here, give you an idea what this looks like. Cool operation. There's a lot of features I do like about this radio, and we'll go over them together. And this is just kind of in case I miss something. I'd be like, Todd does it have that? And I'll be like, yeah, go to this part of the video. <laughs> Flip this over real quickly. We'll do the rest of this uh, manual. Just trying to have it on, you know, video so it's forever there. In case you lose your manual, you have it here. Charging a mobile phone. There you go. Turning the flashlight on and off. Oh, here we go. I like to zoom in on this one. Uh, so these are specifications. You got your band coverage on top, FM, AM, weather band. Uh, it's showing it runs on a lithium battery. Uh, optional three AAA batteries. That's a nice thing to see. I like to see that. Uh, you got weight, um, 350 grams. So three quarters of a pound. Nice. We'll go over some dimensions in a moment. There you go. Cool. And troubleshooting if you need to figure out what is wrong with your radio. Okay, we're done with that. So let's go ahead and get to the radio itself. So it comes in a nice little plastic bag, protect it on its way here, and it's red on red. That's always a wonderful thing, isn't it? So let's go ahead. I got a little cardboard cutouts so I'm going to put down here so you can kind of see what this looks like instead of being on the red. <laughs> so here it is, the Easy BNB. I, I like the design. I really do. It's a little bit bigger, but that's a good thing because you'll be able to find it in emergency. I like the red and black color. Um, right away before we even go over dimensions. Um, it's really neat. So yeah, let's first do that and we'll go over features. So dimensions of the radio is six and a quarter inches across. We're three inches high and we're two and a half inches in depth, including the antenna and the front of that tuning knob. Okay, cool. So let's do a little size comparison. Uh, let's see how we do this here. I'll leave it like that to bring this back up a little bit. Okay, so we have CC Pocket. CC Pocket's a little no weather band radio with weather alert mode. It just doesn't incorporate a dynamo, a solar panel, or a large lithium battery. So definitely the size goes to the easy BMB. <laughs> Next we have a CC Skywave. Get an idea for size. Definitely the BMB is still larger. <laughs> and of course next I have a deck of cards. This is a really good idea because you can take out your own deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Q9s from Easy B and B Land. <laughs> there you go, you got the idea. All right, cool, definitely. So go ahead and zoom this back down. Go over features of the Q9. All right, so right away to the left here, we have the LED flashlight. Uh, it's pretty basic, um, nothing to write home about. Um, usually on emergency radios, lights just for temporary use to find a better flashlight. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> a light to find a better light. Uh, but it's there. So if you need it, you have it. This one has multi-modes and I'll show you that in a second. The front here, we have a nice sounding speaker. Uh, really uh, a rare feature to find an emergency radio. I was really surprised how good this sounds. I'll try to do a little audio demo here in a little bit so you get an idea what it sounds on video. Now compare it to my other videos where I do the same thing. and You can kind of see that 
or here that this is going to be a little you know, better than some of the tinier radios, let's say like a CC Pocket. So you'll definitely hear a difference. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. Yeah, we got the speaker about a one and three quarter inch. Switch up here, we have uh, band select. We have AM, FM, weather band. Here we have a battery select switch, which I really like. You can run the internal battery, lithium ion. There's an 18650, 2300 milliamp hour rated battery, uh, single, single uh, cell. I took the radio apart to check it out. Um, it's a single flat top cell with a circuit board attached and shrink wrapped and glued into the radio. So it's kind of not user replaceable. It would take quite a bit of work. You'd have to have some skills. So you probably have to buy a new radio at that time. Um, or you can run on AAA batteries, which is great. So if your lithium ion battery ever dies, the radio is still useful. You just do this and you're in AAA mode. Love it. And it's seamless. You can do it while the radio is on, switching it back and forth. We have a tuning LED indicator. We have battery charge indicator, if you can see that. It's actually red because it's picking up with the solar panel on top. It's charging the battery. Volume on off switch. Our tuning knob, I love this tuning knob. It's a large, easy to tune, and it stays where you put it. See where I'm, I think it's direct tuning, so there's no little band going back and forth. I do like that. As you can see our band information, there's our weather band, FM, and then AM. FM is rather difficult to read, it's in red. So you really have to look at it to, to see it, see how it kind of blends in. Um, I wish it was in white lettering also, but here nor there, at least my AM band is in a nice visibility. <laughs> I like the AM band, and you'll find out it's good with this radio. Um, on the right-hand side, we have a little strap. This strap's pretty cool. You can use it to hang it off your backpack, um, on a tent. Uh, this has got a metal carabiner-style clip here. I really like this clip. It's like heavy-duty uh, metal. It's uh, really nice, not just some cheap plastic. A nice vinyl uh, attachment here, and then of course we have a compass that does not work right. Um, north is is the other way. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never been able to get this to to read right, so it's a kind of a a showpiece. You know, get yourself a better compass for sure and carry it separate. We have a headphone jack, so I like to plug in headphones and hear what it sounds like. On this radio, you're going to get low level hiss. It's going to be there at low volumes. You're not going to be happy with that. Um, mostly highs as weak lows and weak mids on FM. This is neutral sounding on, on AM, so it's really good to listen to talk radio. That's about all you'd want to use your headphones for. There's a micro USB charging port to charge the radio. Um, when you're charging the radio, it flashes this little LED here, and when it's fully charged, it's solid red. And then going here, you can see there's a power bank feature, DC out, five volts, one amp. Um, I tried that feature too with my iPad. It doesn't like charging big devices, so a small phone, it should be fine. Um, with a big device, it draws too much and it causes the radio's voltage to drop and it shuts off that circuit and you gotta start over again, plug it back in. Um, I had that issue, but I was able to charge my iPad a little bit, so it would definitely work on a small phone, no problem to get a call out. That's what that would be for, emergency only. Top, we have this switch for the light, which I'm gonna show you. This light has five modes. It has a low, medium, high. Always starts on low, bonus, so you don't blind yourself in the middle of the night. And then it has a uh, SOS and a flasher mode. So let's go ahead and just show you. So there's our low. And I'll turn the lights off probably while this is playing so you get an idea. There's your SOS. And like I said, it's a simple flashlight. And like I said, we'll test it. Now to turn it off, long press. And yeah, it'll start back in low again. There's a solar panel. It looks halfway decent, like it would do some work uh, keeping it in the window just to keep the radio topped off. On the back, you can see it's got four screws here holding it together. I had to take those apart. Those are actually number two hex uh, type bit, in case you're wondering. Um, we have the power generator. This is really nice. Um, I usually don't like dynamos, but this one here is really smooth. It's like the smoothest I've ever used. And it works very well. Um, you can hear it's very quiet too. Um, loving it. And it snaps in place right there. I have some flush on the back. So yeah, for dynamos, excellent. Uh, we have our FM antenna and weather band reception antenna. We get comes up and then you can swivel this. This is really nice. This extends out to 13 inches. Gets decent reception, which we're going to talk about in a moment. Here we have an SOS. It's going to make some noise. There you go. Flashes the light, hits the siren. It's always nice. Could wake up the neighborhood. <laughs> I like to do that. So yeah, uh, so let's go ahead and talk about FM reception. Then we'll do an audio check. Then we'll get onto the weather band and do some uh, AM band scan too tonight. So number one, I like to do an FM reception report. Uh, I base it on a five-tier method. Uh, I started as fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. 
I sit upstairs on my couch, two in the afternoon, I tune the entire FM band, marking out every station I could find, and of course, then I compare it to other radios. A typical radio is an analog radio, like this here. This is an old Panasonic I have, and these typically get 48 stations, and it runs in the OK to good category, which is pretty solid for an average FM analog radio. This is a DSP radio, Digital Signal Processor chip. Uh, it does a little bit better. It tends to on FM. This one found 60 stations, giving it a solid three-star rating, good. And then the selectivity was very good to me, um, so it actually technically got a good rating there also. Um, I was very happy. I was able to get a lot of stations, even with that small antenna. So three-star rating overall on the FM puts it above an average FM analog radio. That's fantastic for an emergency radio. Gotta love that. So let's go ahead, we'll do the audio. I'm going to turn this on. We're going to go to FM. Then I'm going to turn on Radio Totterbert. And what I like to do with Radio Totterbert is I use a C Crane FM transmitter tuned to 92.9 megahertz. Let me go ahead and turn my MP3 player on. Right now it's transmitting. You can see the little light there. Um, it's transmitting over that frequency, 92.9 megahertz, to this radio. So that way you can get a little idea of what it sounds like since there is no MP3 slot. I'm kind of glad it doesn't have an MP3 player. Not every emergency radio needs to have that. All right. So let's find out where 92.9 is. I can't read that dial because it's in red. <laughs> so there's 93. There we go. So it's not quite accurate on FM, but it gives an idea. We'll play this for a few minutes. I'll try to demo the light. So there you go, you get an idea. Uh, I forgot to show you the bottom of the radio where the AAA batteries are. I just thought of that as I was switching this back and forth while the radio was running. So on the bottom of the radio is the AAA battery compartment, which I forgot to show you. This is pretty cool. Very important to have on an emergency radio is battery backup. So it has three AAA batteries. As you can see, you can know polarity. I'm using rechargeable batteries and it works fine on those. Um, top battery positives to the left, middle battery positives to the right, and the bottom battery positives to the left. Now that's with the flashlight to my left hand and the strap to my right hand. So there you go. Yeah, pretty cool setup. I love that it has that backup capability. Um, you never know if the internal battery died and you need this in an emergency. 
You can just raid some remote controls around the house, get your AAA batteries if you don't have those extras. I always have extra batteries. <laughs> Being a radio guy, and I guess you'd call me a prepper because I do have a lot of prepping stuff. Um, it's nice to have batteries always on hand and always fresh. So, yeah, I definitely have a ton of batteries. <laughs> Got to power these radios. So there you go. Those are the batteries. I don't know how long they last on AAAs. Probably just use it for the radio only in an emergency. I would, really wouldn't be using it for a long time because it's AAAs don't tend, tend to have a high capacity. The lithium ion might actually beat that out. So let's go ahead and uh, raise the antenna. We're going to do a little uh, NOAA weather band check. I was able to find four stations upstairs when I was doing my FM scan. And let's see what we can find downstairs today. So I'm going to go ahead and not hit everything. I got the bag to the left here. Okay, so switch it to weather band. We'll leave it on lithium ion. Turn it on. We're going to tune it to the bottom of the band and work our way up. Figure downstairs here in the basement. Okay, I'm picking up one barely there. There we go. Waves one foot or less. It's my local. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio, KXI 41, serving the north and northwest suburbs, including Woodstock, Libertyville, and Elgin. The current time is 10, 17 p.m. Central Standard Time. There you go. Current time. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of north central Illinois, northeast Illinois. And then I, can, I got one at the back of the uh, bander, channel 7. That was channel 5. The temperature was 30 degrees. There we go. The dew point was 18. And the relative humidity was 60%. The wind was east at 13 miles an hour. The wind was 20. The pressure was... So there you go. You get an idea for weather band. I got three stations downstairs. Not too bad. Um, of course, my local coming in the best. Need to have an emergency. I wish it had a weather alert where you could just put on alert mode and it would come through. But uh, I can see why, usually in an emergency, you're grabbing this radio, you know a bad storm's coming, and you'd be down in your basement wanting to know what's happening. Uh, if the tornado's close to you, or if you got a hurricane happening, you know, you know what to do. And it'll tell you, you know, all your stuff. You know, get out of Dodge. <laughs> so let's go ahead, lower this antenna. We're done with the FM and the weather band, since, uh, yeah, we're going to do a medium wave band scan. So medium wave... Uh, on emergency radios tend not to be that fantastic. This one here surprised me. Uh, medium wave AM band here in America um, is fantastic. Uh, a lot of stations on there, and again, great in emergency. Um, and in the evening, um, I was picking up some distant stations, so we'll see what we can pick up tonight. But during the day, it picked up all my locals, really nice, sounded fantastic. Picked up almost all my semi-local stations, again, sounding great. And then there were some faint stations that if I brought a passive loop in, like a turkey advantage loop or one of those Passive loops that require no power. I bet you I could hear those stations too. So not a bad setup. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And we'll tune through the medium wave band. And then we'll do some final thoughts on the radio. Go ahead and get this back on here. I do like it. It has a tuning indicator. That is really nice. So we're at the bottom of the band. And of course, I believe the antenna is probably horizontal. So wherever I point the top of the radio is the, where the station's at. That's how those work. Let's go ahead and tune. It's a DSP radio, so tune it slowly. If I, oh, I'm on the weather band still. See? <laughs> you put more happy. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. She made tons of stations. Okay, we're at the bottom of the AM band now. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Todd Ebert, come on, get with it. <laughs> That's cool. So, I have a list over here to my right. I'm going to look real quick. This is CHLO 530, Brampton, Ontario, which is 441 miles. They have a stated output of 250 watts. Nice, it's coming in. Conceal carry training in Midlothian. You'll learn safe, responsible firearm use, home defense. Okay, this is a 560 WIND Chicago. 
Brilliant. Hope I tuned off of it. Happens with DSPs, you gotta go back and forth. Trainer and the owner of Illinois. Let's keep going. Hi, it's Olivia Mann with my shelter pets, Frankie and Chance. Say hi, guys. <laughs> when I adopted them, I discovered that. Your 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Chance's sole purpose in life is to love and to be loved. Hispanic station here, WMFN, Piatone, Illinois, 75 miles away, 1600 watts. So it's a delicate tuning experience with this tuning knob uh, on the medium wave because there's so much, uh, especially in a nighttime band. and listening to their stories and learning things. That's how he learned to make great tasting sausage the old-time way. And that's still how we make it today. Try Purnell's old folks' country sausage. Here's WSM 650, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Our current time, 10.20 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, to give him an idea of location. Sure, customers can save big money with Progressive, but not enough to go to Hawaii. They'll probably use it for things. Oh, uh, it's a reindeer deer. Play in North America. Hey. Strong Station 670, The Score, Chicago, WSCR. I knew Caribou. What's your name? It's, uh, Caribou. Get the iPhone SE for $49.99 when you switch. Smile, you're on cricket. <laughs> Ends once a heavy at time through the West End, anywhere between Toronto and Hamilton. Pearl Edge self directed. It's more accessible than you think. With helpful planning tools plus free online stock and ETF trades. So you can keep practicing your pronunciation. Merrill, a Bank of America company. Visit MerrillEdge.com slash with a reach to get started today. Investing involves risk. Merrill Edge, Pierce Fenner, Smith and Corporate. Registered World Virginia members, IPC, other fees may apply. Investment products are not a 700 WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles away. So I can give to you. Right, a 100% tax write-off. Here's WGN, Chicago. To learn more. 720. Free estimate for your business and building. Fire sprinklers often contain fires before firefighters... So you got entertainment, even if it's bad storms outside. CFZM, Zoomer Radio, 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Fund drive to feed the hungry, house the homeless, develop our youth, and help the alcohol and drug addicted to recover. Please go online to drmm.org or call 313-993-4700. So the DSPs do jump around a little bit. I, it passed up WSB on 750, but that's okay. This is 760 WJR, uh, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Exclusively from Pajamagram, America's PJ experts for nearly 20 years. Just like her own bare skin. Okay, so those two strong stations are keeping me from getting 750. That's all right. Just keep going. It's so soft and luxurious, they'll melt away her strength. Hi, Chicago. Everybody knows there are things in life that make total sense. Like sw Check them out at pajamagram.com and right now. And they've been saving people money for over several free gift packaging. That means you don't have to wrap it up. Glitter. It's fun for five seconds, but then haunts you. So, yeah, I just tried to tune back and forth <clears throat> just to see if I could pick up 770. Which is kind of a weak signal. Don't expect this radio to get it, but that would be New York, New York. Uh, but it did pick up on the strong station. So 760 was the first one. Now we're on 780 WBBM Chicago. Why are you charging me for it? On the other hand, it still makes sense to switch to Geico. They have an industry-leading... Uh, uh, ...distance station. So don't you have like a tinselly, uh, tinselly sparkly blue one or something? This is 820 WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles. So yeah, a little emergency radio can do it. So entertainment in the evening, your power's out. Okay. Oh, we're going to keep talking until we can get him on, I guess, because we're having a... Uh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm getting him on. 
Okay. WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky on 840. It's about 300 miles. Ground zero. I don't know what's going on with our phone system. We certainly have been having that problem since uh, uh, we download the app right now. So all sorts of cool things happening right now with the Betfred Sports app. But to get involved, got to go download it. BetfredSports.com or in the app store. Make sure you give them a follow on Twitter and Instagram at Betfred Sports and step into the social zone, the, the fan zone, and uh, you'll find out about Betfred Boost, all sorts of online offers. Everything is really cool with them right now. Official sports betting partner with the Denver Broncos. Must be 21 years of age. Wagers only available in Colorado. If you think you have a gambling problem, call 800 522 It's winter in the Rockies, and that means sunshine. Okay, so as you can tell by the programming, this is KOA 850, Denver, Colorado. 890 miles from my location, so one of the farthest stations I can reach, and we're picking it up with this Easy BMB Q9 radio. Awesome, loving that. So really happy with the tuning experience. While still helping you get what you need for your outdoor projects, visit one of our 16 stores across. <clears throat> Excuse me, we got some 860 here. This is a uh, CJBC. Some music, uh, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles in French. Te joindre notre trio santé, Denis Fortier, physiothérapeute. Salut, Denis. Oh, we're picking up a hint. It jumped all the way to 900. <laughs> Full time radio out of Hamilton, Ontario. Nice. Uh, CHML, 430 miles. Soft and luxurious, they'll melt away her stress. You'll love the feeling of wearing next to nothing at all. And you'll love the way they look. Check them out at pajamagram.com. And right now, when you order today, you'll get a great deal. Free gift packaging. I tuned it back. This is 880 WCBS, New York, New York. 750 miles. So now I'm just going to cruise up to the top of the band pretty quickly. Levin Show Parlor. WLS, Chicago, 890. Levin Show Facebook. And here's a reminder. <clears throat> At the end of 16... Dana White, ladies and gentlemen. WMVP, Chicago, ESPN 1000. And it looks like it's fairly accurate dial. It's pointing at 1000. Good to see. And it all starts weekday mornings with Keyshawn, J. Will, and Zubin. And continues all day. This is ESPN Radio. Captain J. Hood. When guys get so arrogant they think they're smarter. The previous month. <laughs> They were able to swing the, uh, they were going to swing millions and millions of votes away. Softest pajamas, exclusively from Pajamagram, America's PJ Expert. <laughs> As you can tell, a ton of stations, loving it. Okay, so that was uh, 1700. Get that back. Yeah, well, I, I gotta go over my. Well, uh, uh, well, I understand. So it's nice and strong in the evening, all the way up to the top of the band. That's 1700, uh, KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa. 
uh, and that is a total of uh, I think 200. Got my little list here. Um, let's see how many miles. Uh, that is 280 miles away, Des Moines, Iowa. Nice. All right. And no, I, I wouldn't necessarily. That stops the medium wave scan. So there it is. The Easy BNB Q9. Is it worth 33 bucks? There are a lot of radios out there for $30. And uh, I've reviewed quite a few of them. You have to make your own estimation. Do you like the Cato radios? Do you like this radio? Do you like, um, you know, there's people that like uh, the soft touch plastics. This actually is not soft touch plastic. Wow, people love that fact that this isn't. Um, I'm on board with that, that this isn't uh, soft touch. It's all normal plastics. I forgot to mention that. That is a really nice setup. Um, it's a premium radio. It tunes well. Uh, Dynamo feels excellent. Simple flashlight, flashlight but works. You know, two battery options. I know in this day and age they're starting to add more capacity to these things. Writing two 18650s. We'll probably see a revision of this radio doing the same, I'm guessing, and probably a compartment where you can replace those batteries because we're seeing that also with a lot of radios. Because just for 5 or $10 more, there are other radios out there that have like reading lamps that pop up, strong front flashlights, um, and decent radios. But I'll be honest with you, this one here does do really well on the bands, all three bands, very happy, very impressed. Uh, and I've had used some of those other radios and I just wasn't as happy with the tuning experience. This one here, definitely a nice tuning experience and well put together. I have to give it that. Um, it is worth the premium price tag until you jump up to say to a Sanjin MMR88, then you're in a whole different league there. So there you go. Big thumbs up for me. I hope you enjoyed this video of the Easy BMB Q9. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the bell icon for reviews, band scans, comparisons, um, the best, you know, under 50 bucks. This might make that list. So definitely worth uh, keeping uh, subscribed to my channel. And of course, three, comment down below what you think about the Easy BMB Q9. Is it a radio you think you'd pick up? Uh, do you like the looks? Do you like its functionality? Do you think it uh, is missing something? You know, let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you in my next video. Thank you.